Hey, what's up, everybody? We've been talking a lot about Ball in the House music and Ball in the House albums. But let's switch gears today and talk about other albums, specifically best debut albums. All right, so I wanted to, in these blogs, talk about stuff other than just Ball in the House, but just hopefully, for the most part, music related. But if it drags on, there might be other stuff. But today, Best debut albums. And this, I think, is a fun and great argument. Some of the criteria that I used was just something that was not just indicative of the of the band, but um, was a great album pretty much from start to finish. And for me, my number one uh, has to be The Cars, The Cars, 1978. Just a fantastic debut album. Now, I may be a little bit of a homer here, being from Boston, but um, this album, I mean, you get you open up with Good Times Roll, Just What I Needed. Uh, I mean, Moving in Stereo, just so many great, great tunes from start to finish. Just a super cool sound, just kind of fusing that, like that post-punk, that new wave, um, the synths, everything kind of coming together. Um, just fantastic. Now, I don't know if these are all in order, but another one that was a huge debut album that, that I absolutely love is The Killers. And their debut, Hot Fuss, from 2004. And think about that big swirling opening. Jenny was a friend of mine. But I got into it mostly from hearing uh, reviews or just talking about the single somebody told me. And so I went looking for this album and uh, bought it in CD in a record store. It was really hard to find. Uh, but when I found it, I was really shocked not just to love that single, but to love the whole entire album from start to finish. This is one where... I think that sound that the Killers have on this album, just they got away from it. And they maybe touched it here and there, but they never really got back to what I thought was so great about them. This, this kind of new wave, dancey, um, almost like Duran Duran-ish kind of sound from there. They just kind of went away from it, seemed to go more rock and roll, and uh, which wasn't really my thing. But still, I think Hot Fuss holds up as a fantastic album and obviously a huge debut album. All right, another one is Maxwell, Urban Hang Suite. This one's 1996. This one is just absolutely fantastic. Just a great sound from start to finish. And just what a perfect title, like this, <laughs> Urban Hang Suite. And this whole album just puts you just in this great, great, consistent mood uh, from start to finish. Well, what a great, great debut. And lastly for me, I want to mention Franz Ferdinand and their uh, self-titled album uh, from 2004. Uh, you probably know the, the big, huge hit, Take Me Out, which I absolutely love, love, love. But uh, for me, that album from start to finish is just so super cool. They kind of go, actually, that's the same year as The Killers, Hot Fuss, uh, 2004. And there are some of the similarities there. The um, uh, Friends Fern are much more guitar-based, but I love all the synth stuff that's on Hot Fuss. But um, yeah, Friends Fernand just super unique, super cool, love their grooves and kind of how they make this dance disco rock stuff which is your traditional uh, rock instrumentation. Yeah. So I really want to hear from you all and uh, tell me what your favorite debut albums are and why. So uh, comment below, uh, leave a video message, whatever you want to do, but start the conversation up. Uh, it's, it can be a really fun conversation to have, but of course the criteria can be really different for everybody. So I tried to get a little bit into what I was looking for, but uh, if you make a case, argue that as well, and uh, we'll talk to you later.